welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable RPM Fusion within Fedora Linux. So we're going to go to Chrome and we're going to go to rpmfusion.org and then we're going to say enable RPM Fusion on your system and then there's installing free and non-free repositories um, So we're going to do this from the command line. So we need a terminal. And we're going to copy this line here. And we're just going to run that. Enter your password. and then press Y. There is an alternative method to using the command line. You can actually just click on the link there and this will give you a download uh, within Firefox or Chrome. And then you can open this up and it will open in Software Manager. And you can see I've now already got it installed so I can uninstall it. But if this is your first time running it, you it would have the install button you just click install and that's how you get rpm fusion so what does rpm fusion give you that you didn't have before so uh here i am on the rpmfusion.org um, website and uh, this is the database page so if i click on packages these are the list of packages and you'll see that some of them are free some of them are non-free and the non-free ones are the ones you wouldn't get with fedora so if I go up into the top right corner, choose non-free and do choose asterisk and click search. Yeah, you can see these are some of the packages that you will get that aren't free. And there's five pages worth. Uh, so you've got Doom Shareware, you've got Discord, uh, emulator ROMs, arcade games. You've got the Spotify client, Nvidia drivers, various games. You've got Steam, etc. So uh, if you can't find a package in the package manager under the normal circumstances and you can't find it under the flat packs, uh, then add the RPM Fusion non free and free packages as shown here and you should get access to um, everything you need. Uh, this is definitely one for people who've got NVIDIA cards because you'll need to install those NVIDIA drivers. And that is the end of the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe for more content from Everyday Linux user. Thank you for watching.